shape tool in the toolbox lets you move points and segments around and modify paths. You'll find the reshape tool with the scale tool. You use the reshape tool for extending a side of an object. You can extend or contract the selected point and leave all other points unchanged. To use the reshape tool, click on the direct selection tool. Now click a blank area in your document to deselect everything. Then click an anchor point on a path. Click the reshape tool and drag the point. You can also reshape a path. To do so, select the pencil tool by clicking on it to reshape a path that doesn't have a brush stroke. If it has a brush stroke, select the paintbrush tool. Next, select the path you want to reshape by pushing Command for Mac or Control for Windows plus left click. Drag along the edge of the path from point to point to reshape it. You can use the eraser tool in the toolbox to erase parts of objects. When you do so, Illustrator connects those parts that remain to reshape and close the path. If you erase inside a filled object, Illustrator then creates a compound path. Here's how to erase parts of paths. Use the selection tool to select the object that you want to partially erase. Click the eraser tool and drag to erase the paths that you want to remove. As you can see, Illustrator reshaped our object for us and closed the path. Let's show you what we mean by erasing fill. Let's fill our triangle with red fill. Now let's erase a part inside the triangle. You can now see the complex path inside the shape. If you have a rough looking or ragged path, you can smooth it out using the smooth tool in the toolbox. It's grouped with the pencil tool. We're going to smooth a path on this shape. Select the object that you want to smooth with the selection tool. Then click on the smooth tool. Then drag it along the path you want to smooth. To set options for the smooth tool, double click on it. Adjust fidelity to control how far you have to move the mouse before a new anchor is added. The higher the value that you select, the smoother and less complex the path will be. Smoothness will set how much smoothing is applied to the path. You can also reset the tool back to default values. Think of dividing paths like a cookie cutter. You can cut shapes out of other shapes and divide them. To divide paths, select an object that you want to use as the cutting object. Click the selection tool, then move the cutting object on top of the objects to divide. Go to Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. You can now move your cutting object away. You've now created a new object. Use the scissors tool to split paths. The scissors tool is in the toolbox and is grouped with the eraser tool. To split a path, select the object that has a path that you want to split using the selection tool. Now click the scissors tool and click on the object's path where you want the split to occur. Two new endpoints appear, one on top of the other. You can draw paths and merge them with the blob brush tool. Here we have a brown circle that we're going to add ears to and make into the head of a bear. Select the head and then click on the blob brush tool and draw the first ear. Once you let go of your mouse, click on the selection tool and select the object. Notice how the ear has merged with the head. Let's finish by drawing the last ear. You can now use shape mode to create compound shapes from objects that overlap. These new compound shapes are editable. To use shape mode, select two or more overlapping objects using the selection tool. Remember to press shift to select more than one object. Now go to Window, Pathfinder. Select one of the shape mode buttons. The first is Unite to Shape Area. This joins the outer edges of selected objects. 
Minus front from shape area removes objects in front of other objects. Intersect shape area preserves object areas that intersect. Exclude overlapping shape areas changes overlapping areas to transparency. We're going to select Unite to Shape Area. A compound path is an object that's made up from two or more objects, and the objects overlap. The compound path removes the overlapping space and displays the attributes of the backmost object. To create a compound path, arrange your object so the front object will cut out to reveal the attributes of the back object. Now select the objects you want in the compound path. Go to Object, Compound Path, Make. Now when we click the selection tool, it selects all objects as one because they have the same path. 